would you like to announce, and you're hearing it here first, who are you going to be sailing with? Well, I am here to announce that I will be sailing with Joe Glanfield. I think uh, Joe's going to come up. So. I'm really excited. Um, you know, Joe's been a, a good friend for many years and a, and a great mentor as well when I was younger and coming through the system. So, um, you know, we've had long conversations and we feel the ingredients that we have separately make up quite a good baseline to kind of to build on. And, and we hope that those ingredients are, are good enough to, to go on and, you know, hopefully arrive at the start line at the Olympic Games in 2016 and have a, have a good chance of, of winning that regatta. So I'm really excited and uh, I can't wait to get it all rolling. I've been really impressed with Luke and Stuart's campaign leading up to London, how they went about it, the way they raced, the way they raced at the Olympics. And um, just to have that opportunity to be able to step back, straight back in the boat with an Olympic silver medalist and um, someone that can sail the boat so well uh, just seemed too good to turn down. I think, um, you know, I think the exciting thing always about a new team is you bring new ideas and you bring a new way of doing things. And... And that, for me, was a big draw. You know, there, there'll be so many things that I can learn off Luke and hopefully lots that he can learn off me. And hopefully with that, that new chemistry will give us a lot of energy and a lot of um, direction in, in where we want to go on the way to Rio. The first two training camps, um, are, it's always a funny one because you go in with very little expectation uh, and you go in with not quite sure of what's going to be happen at the end of the week or the end of the two weeks. So... Um, but that's, I guess, a good thing because you, you go in very open-minded as well with that, that zero expectation. So, you know, we arrived in Murcia, down in Spain there, a bit warmer weather, and, and just got on the boat and got sailing. And, uh, and I think we had a, an idea of what it might feel like together, knowing what our, our strengths and our weaknesses are and knowing the type of personalities we are. And so I think we had an idea of what it would be like, and I think it matched that. I have to say I was pretty nervous before the first time I got back in the boat because it's just that unknown, you know, how bad am I going to be? And um, and the fitness, I mean, I've been so slack since since I stopped sailing, you know, I've, def I've put on weight and, and the fitness had gone downhill. So that was the first thing, I just needed to get back in the habit of being active and back, you know, being fit, losing weight. And that's, that's going quite well. Um, and in terms of the sailing, I was really surprised actually, I was really, uh, Luke sort of touched on earlier, uh, w the dynamic in the boat was good, the communication was very easy and in terms of my movement around the boat it wasn't great uh, but it was better than I thought it would be, the, the, the starting point was better than I thought it could, it could be. Um, we had some mishaps in Mercia, I, I, um, I remember the first time, the first day we, everything felt really good in the boat so we decided to do some practice starting and just before the start, Luke basically moved one way, I moved the other, and I nearly fell out of the boat. Um, so we've got some work to do. But it is, it is, it is, it's, it feels like a good starting place. It feels like we've got plenty to build on, and, and it's not horrendous. Rio's obviously a very, very long way away. Um, and I, I was just thinking whilst Luke was talking, it's, it's kind of funny, I missed the Windy Olympics, and now I've come back and it'll be straight back onto a diet, basically where I left off from Qingdao, um, getting, getting very... Uh, Getting very light. I think I said uh, goodbye to to my last bit of cake the other day, but um, I think I think the first challenge for Luke and I is just to get that solid partnership where we know we know exactly what we're both doing in the boat. We communicate well. We can we can race in in good situation in tight situation. Sorry, um, and then from there start to look beyond that and look where are the really big gains in the fleet. Um, it's easy to forget we've, we've both got silver medals, but what we're trying to do is something that a British boat hasn't done yet. You know, we haven't got a gold medal in the 470 class. So I think we have to think outside the box a bit, you know, and think what can we do differently and what we can improve.